IGTV, it's Allie. Today I'm here with Rod from Eaton. Today we're taking the Industrial Controls and Motion Tour. Let's get started. All right. So what we got here is, uh, first is we got a uh, drives demo. So what we're actually simulating here is actually like a booster pump application. So you see behind you actually, there's actually three pumps, right? So what we're simulating here is we have two VFDs, two variable frequency drives, and a full voltage across the line motor starter over here. And uh, these are each tied to individual motor. So this is the motor one, this is the motor two, the starter to motor three. And um, what we got going on here is we got one valve here that we're gonna control the pressure with and one pressure sensor that's tied back to this VFD. And what this VFD right here is gonna do is actually gonna control the flow uh, of these pumps and it's gonna tell this driver that started to turn on based on what our demand is. And uh, if I turn the system on here, and you can see actually that some of this will actually show up here on our uh, HMI. So you can hear that that drive, that motor already started, you can actually hear it. And you can see that it's running at about 20 Hertz. Well, 16 now, 12 going down. But as I increase the man, you'll, you'll hear it. So I'm actually opening the valve and allowing more to go through. So as the pressure sensor senses that I need more, the motor speeds up and creates more flow. So what's gonna happen is, is as I turn this up and this motor keeps ramping up, he's eventually gonna tell his buddy over here that I'm sick of doing all the work and I need a little help, right? Yeah. So as I keep going, so this drive is now running too. So you can see that they're both actually running now. You can actually see both are spinning. So what's happening is, is they're both running at about, uh, about 80 to 85% of their capacity load. So as I increase more, they're gonna actually, this drive is from this sensor is gonna say, hey, I need more, we can't keep up, you need to turn on as well. And you'll hear that one slam on. They actually seen that one turn on. So now that one's picking up all the slack and you'll actually see, and it, we weren't watching it, but these actually drop down because that is in a variable speed application. It runs at full, full torque automatically. These drives were actually able to back themselves down to limit the work to, for the demand, based on the demand that we need. So, Really what we're showing here is, is that VFDs do more than just uh, vary the speed of a motor. They actually have a lot of smarts and a lot of capabilities. There's no PLC in this system at all. And it's all ran out of the smarts inside this truck. Yeah. Obviously we're highlighting some fusible disconnect switches from our friends at Busman. And we have some meat and stack lights as well. Um, this one isn't an active demo, but it's kind of highlighting a new product for us. Um, this is our power defense breaker. So this is a new breaker that we're launching pretty much as we speak. And uh, what this breaker does is, is it's new for us in the fact that it it's, uh, has a, a high degree of uh, function or uh, diagnostics that you can pull out of the breaker, right? So uh, with this breaker, I can monitor current. So I can tell you how, much, how many amps I'm drawing. I can tell you how many times the breaker's been turned on and off, when the last time it was turned on and off, um, why did I trip? how big was the fault that I took. Um, so it gives you a ton of information. You can put it on a network like TrophyNet or TrophyBus or Ethernet or anything to get all that data. But then it also has something brand new that no other breaker has and that's called Breaker Help. So what it'll actually do is based on um, all the parameters as far as why I trip, how I trip, how long, you know, how big of a trip did I take, um, it'll actually tell you how much light you have left in your breaker. So it can actually tell you, hey, it's time to replace me um, without you ever even doing it. So again, kind of a kind of a cutting edge, uh, industry leading breaker, brand new product for us. I'm sure as this trailer uh, evolves, it'll be in a lot more of the demos, but right now really all we can do is hang it on here because we're just in the process of launching this breaker. So yeah. Uh, here we got an HVAC demo. So really from down here to here, really kind of highlights all the products that we put together specifically for the HVAC industry. So in the heating and cooling industry, they use a lot of the same stuff. So you'll notice that, you know, some of the stuff in these cabinets look very similar to everything else. So a lot, a lot of the stuff we use is the same, but some of it has different functionality. So for example, there's a there's two variable frequency drives inside this cabinet. You might be able to see them in the hole there, but they're much different than the variable frequency drive that, you're, that we, that we uh, demoed over there. And the fact that what they have different functionality in, inside it. So for example, one of the things that um, uh, HVAC requires is what's called fi fire mode. So if I have an HVAC system and my VFD's running, what it's doing is it's turning my fan, it's blowing cool air, hot air into the building, right? 
Well, if somebody pulls a fire alarm, what will happen is, is if I'm blowing air into the building, I'm feeding the fire, right? Well, if I pull the fire alarm, what happens is the drive knows I'm in fire mode. It goes into reverse. It starts sucking air out of the building. And then it uh, um, shuts down all the parameters for motor protection. and just says, I'm gonna run until I basically burn up um, in order to be uh, you know, safe in, in a fire application. So we have different packages of drives um, for the DH1. This is called our IntelliPass. Uh, I believe it's called IntelliPass uh, option. And this is a, a packaged unit that is very typical of what would go on like a rooftop uh, air handling unit or whatnot. So uh, very unique packaging for us. And then we also highlight our ability to do enclosed control. So we can uh, you know, design and build all these different types of enclosed starters for the HVAC industry. And again, uh, this is our XP500 HMI with uh, Gorilla Glass. So I'm gonna take my key. And I'm actually gonna do that on an HMI. So they're really, really durable, really strong. Um, not everybody will do that to their HMI and have confidence. And I, I've probably done that a couple hundred times to this HMI and it isn't even scratched. So that's just a smudge right there, it'll come off. But So um, very, very tough HMI on there too. And then behind you is, this is actually another kind of drive. So again, a different kind of drive. Now this uses, you see DG1 in there. So it uses the, the base model of the DG1 that we saw over there. But what this is, this is actually an 18 pulse drive. And what an 18 pulse drive is, it's for um, when you have bad power. So where these are used a lot is maybe like a hospital or a wastewater treatment plant, or maybe in a country that has a very poor power grid, or maybe somewhere like uh, on a, a uh, train car or something where everything's powered by generator with power to fluctuate. What this does is, is a normal drive is a six pulse drive. This is an 18 pulse drive. It basically takes, uh, you know, kind of drive kind of is garbage in, garbage out, right? So what this does though, is it cleans up the power and makes it manageable and usable for a drive. Cause if the power's too dirty, a drive won't work. So that's what we're kind of highlighting here. And then here we got a really cool product. This is called our OLI switch. So this, this piece right here is actually a separate part. And we're the only ones in the industry to have this. And what this is, is this is an arc flash mitigation switch, pardon me. And what arc flash is to keep it super simple is, is that wherever I have power, so if I have a disconnect switch, right? And I turn this off, right? And I open this door, wherever my power is still coming in the panel, right? And in here there isn't, it's actually going to be coming here, but wherever the power is still coming in the panel, all I did was shut the switch off so no power is down below it. Well, because I have still have power here, I have a chance of what's called arc flash. And arc flash is a, uh, basically it's uh, where there's a major fault somewhere in the system and it, and it flashes out. And the flash can be hotter than the sun. I mean, it'll, it'll literally melt the skin right off you. So it's a very big uh, safety hazard. And what happens is in a lot of uh, factories, you have to put on what they call suit up. And it's a, uh, it's a, uh, personal protection equipment, but they got to put on some gloves and a hat and a hood and a suit to get in here to work. And what this does is, is it takes the disconnect switch out of the main panel. What this actually does is it takes the disconnect switch out of the panel and puts it off to the side. So now when I shut this off and I open this door, my chance of arc flash is protected behind here, up here, where the incoming power is right here. And it allows me to open this up and I now have arc flash category zero in this cabinet and I can work on it without having to put on gloves or the hood or suit up or anything like that. Um, again, uh, there are solutions out there where you can buy the enclosure to do this and populate it yourself, but we're the only people that have, a, or only company that have a fully populated unit all in one where you buy one part number and mount it up on an enclosure. So really, really cool product. Uh, I like it, it's one of my favorites. So. Safety first. Safety first, that is correct. So this is a, a system, it's, uh, again, this trailer kind of travels all over the country, right? So we got to kind of uh, hit all the different industries, yes, right? Yes. And this would be more for oil and gas, right? So what we have this housed in is uh, another one of the Eaton Brands, Krauss Heinz. Uh, this is a NEMA 7 9 bolted explosion proof enclosure, really big and tough. And this application is very typical of what you might find in a, in a petrochem application. But what we're highlighting here is our C445 motor management relays. So it's really these guys right here in the middle, these, these three right here. Um, what this does is it's really, in a nutshell, it's a high-end overload relay. So what we're able to do is this thing, again, is networkable. Um, you're able to pull a lot of data out of this. So for example, I'm just gonna start this, it's gonna get a little loud, but I'm gonna start this mixer here. We're actually reading watts right here, right? And I'll, I'll, here we're reading amps, and then this is reading runtime, and I can actually, 
scroll through 480 volt, lot. So I can actually scroll through different functionality on there and look at it. But I can pull any of that data out of there. So I can look at my hertz, my amps, uh, uh, anything that's going on in that motor. I can look at it and bring that data out and then decide what I want to do with it. Um, a lot of times this is a critical process application. That's why Petrochem is big. Like uh, you might want to know, why am I drawing one amp more than I was yesterday? something's wrong. I might need to go check it out before we have a catastrophic failure. So that's kind of what this kind of device is for. It also has some programmability into it. So you can do things like stagger the start of things program. So I hit start and we'll start this one, start that one, start that one next, and they'll time each other out and you can connect them. So again, just a uh, an intelligent motor management relay uh, on our C445. Also one of your favorites? Um, no. <laughs> well, I love it. I mean, I love all the products. I just don't sell a whole lot of them. I okay, just yeah. haven't ran into a whole, whole lot of applications to sell. This is more of the world, I guess, you know, where I say I would live every day is something like this. This is a little more near and dear to what we do as, as an OEM team. So what we're, what we're actually showing here is our smart wire system. And it's the screen cable that really stands out. We'll talk about that in a minute. But what we did was this, this panel is actually what's running this demo, right? But what we did was, is we made another panel down here, right? And we made this panel, if, if we were gonna do this the traditional way, the way we've been doing it since like Thomas Edison, right? This is what the panel would look like. You notice it's got all this blue stuff in here. It's got all the blue wiring in there, right? That's all control wiring, right? And if you notice, you come back down here, you have no IO, you have no blue wiring, right? because we're using smart wire to do it. So that's the old way, this is the new way. And the idea behind this is, is that, again, since like the days of Thomas Edison, right? We've been taking a piece of wire, we've been pulling it, figuring out how long a wire we need, we're stripping it, putting a wire label on it, putting it in, tightening it down, and starting all over again, right? Well, with smart wire, what you can do is you take this cable, right? And you crimp all the connectors where you want it, you plug it in, and you're done, it's wired. And the real cool thing about it is, is that you see these blinking green lights there? Yellow means it's on, green means it's ready. If I plug all them in and all my lights go green, it means I'm wired properly and I have zero loose connections. So not only did I save a ton of time on wiring my panel, but I also debugged it within seconds. If I, all my lights are green, yeah. it's right. Nothing can be wrong. So um, as you can see, we can tie in VFDs, electronic motor starters, motor starters, stack lights, and then we leave the panel from that flat, we go to this round cable, and we actually run right along the side here and do IP67 IO. So all these IO points are tied to the sensors that are running this conveyor back and forth. It's running the solenoid valves that are actually turning the rollers on here. And it's all being powered from this guy right here, our XV300 HMI PLC. So this is the brains of the whole outfit, and it's telling basically all this stuff what to do. And then this is an exaggerated version of SmartWire to give you an idea of really what SmartWire is. Absolutely, it's beautiful, isn't it? So really this is being run off this PLC right here and we're just kind of demoing. It's a good way to demo our push buttons, right? We have a very uh, very uh, extensive 22 millimeter push button line, all the choices you could ever want. It all ties into SmartWire and just kind of gives you a really good idea of what SmartWire looks like. So again, really, really cool system. It does. I mean, we could sit here and talk for three hours about the diagnostics that this thing can provide, right. but uh, from a high level, what it really does is, is it makes panel wiring and troubleshooting much easier and provides, again, we call it smart wire because it takes things that were traditionally quote unquote dumb, like a contactor, and it puts some smarts behind it. It puts some diagnostics behind it on what I want to do, depending on whether my contactor is working or not. So really, really cool system. And then over here too, we have this, this is brand new. I want to point this out, this is brand new. We actually have this new 30 millimeter flat buttons. You notice these are very much uh, stick out. This is a new, this is a brand new product for us. They're low profile, almost, I call them elevator buttons because that's yeah. what they look like. But uh, nice uh, low profile uh, buttons, brand new. We have a uh, brand new line we have called our M30. We tried to put as much Eaton, much of the Eaton family content as we could in here to kind of, you know, show, uh, uh, the power that we have is we team up with all of our uh, other lines and uh, I know uh, Delco is uh, aligned with a lot of those so it works yes, out very nicely. So, yes, we are. so but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the truck in a nutshell. Um, yeah, 
Thank you for giving me a Not tour. A Anytime. You.